This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by the multinational IA firm Crawford & Company. To be the best, you have to join the best at croco.com slash cat. Okay, so we talk about licensing, we talk about the designated home state license. If you happen to live in a place that does not have an, a state adjuster license, what should you do, right? So should you, rather, which state should you get as your designated home state license? And I think that in uh, the, the past several years, there's been two main ones and one or two little like satellite ones, uh, the state adjuster licenses that people will get or they'll say, this is the one to get right now, right? And the two main ones are Florida and Texas. Um, and they, like I said, I think in a previous video, uh, Florida and Texas kind of go back and forth being like the best one. Indiana was the best one for a little while, uh, but I think that that changed to currently 2023, it's Florida, um, but the, the really the I think the the main factors that you want to look at, um, and you want to get be getting your this is now is any time is a good time to get your license, but a much better time would have been back in January, and none of this stuff really matters, right? It doesn't matter what the turnaround time is, you know, if it's if it's a three days or three weeks or you know six weeks or whatever, if you do it in, in the downtime, right? So the, the old saying is is that you know. The time to repair the roof is when the sun's shining, right? So basically the sun shining for getting new licenses or getting your first license is gonna be when nothing else is going on, right? There's no storms happening. But you know, say we're in the summertime, right? And this is more of a factor. I'm gonna get the license uh, as, my, as my designated home state license that is, um, checks the most boxes, right? Um, so it's gonna, I'm gonna go for one that's got a background check and a, uh, fingerprinting and uh, maybe has like uh, all the little extra things that they want you to do so that that will kind of open up the most reciprocity elsewhere, right? Um, so at the moment, and then, and then also the one that has the fastest turnaround time, right? From the time when I, I sign up for or adjustertv.com slash licensing, um, before I sign up for their pre-licensing or pre-exam, which there's two different ways you could do it, right? So you can, and it depends on the state and it depends on the license. Um, some some states will say, Adjuster Pro can administer the test and that counts for us, right? And so you take the test, you, get, you do the prep and take the test through Adjuster Pro and then you just apply for the license doing the fingerprints and the, all the stuff, right? Or they do, uh, pre-licensing, which is you do the prep for the test and then the state administers the test and then everything else, right? But either way, from the time, you know, studying for the test and doing the pre-licensing or pre-exam is depends on you, right? So however long, you know, you need to go, go, go through that material and take practice questions and that kind of thing. It may take a week, it may take you, you know, three weeks to do that stuff. I would give yourself at least a couple of weeks um, and plan on doing a little bit of it every single day, um, depending on the license, right? Um, and then taking the exam and filling out the application and the background check and everything can, depending on the state, can take a few days up to several weeks, right? So I'm gonna probably, probably try to pick a, play, a state that has, um, for that part of it, it is, a, you know, a week, a few days, a week, maybe a couple of weeks versus doing one that takes weeks and weeks to, 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 to turn around because they're so slammed or because they changed something in their system, whatever it is, right? And who knows why? Um, and really the best way to do that, to figure out which one's the best, is to go to adjusterpro.com and say, and ask and just be like, hey, listen, I, need, I live in Colorado. I want to get my DHS and I want, because I want to do cat work. I want to do remote, you know, adjusting or whatever it is as a property adjuster, right? Um, which state would be the best one for me to get that has the, the fastest turnaround time and the most reciprocity? And they will say, oh, it's Texas, oh, it's Florida, you know, right? or it's Indiana or whatever, right? Um, but that's probably, you know, t t so that this video has a little bit uh, longer of a shelf life. Um, I'm gonna say that it's probably best to call uh, the folks at adjusterpro.com and ask them. And Adjuster Pro is not a part of Adjuster TV. We're totally separate companies, uh, but we do have a um, sort of an affiliate relationship. So if you if you go to adjustertv.com slash licensing and use one of those links in there, then I'll get a commission on it, which, you know, we've had this for quite a while. But um, you don't have to do that. Totally, It's entirely up to you. Um, you can go straight to 
adjusterpro.com and do all the things um, you can. We do have a discount right now. Um, Adjuster TV is the discount. I'm not sure what the amount is. Um, and and it, this is one of those things that changes. Um, so there's a discount. I'm not sure exactly what it is at this moment that you're watching this video, but if you use Adjuster TV at checkout, you can get that discount um, unless it's expired or something's changed or whatever, which who knows, right? Um, as of the summer of 2023, we got a discount. Um, so anyway, so the, really the best uh, place to get your designated home state license is gonna be a place that has a fast turnaround would be the number one thing. And number two thing would be, depending on the time of year, and the number two thing would be um, that has the most reciprocity. And normally, a lot of the states that are reciprocal with each other all have pretty close to the same reciprocity around the, the country, uh, but Texas and Florida are kind of the big boys to get. And not the least of which, because those are also places where lots and lots of hail and hurricanes hit Texas and lots and lots of hurricanes and stuff hits Florida, they're pretty good licenses to get in general, right? So that's, that's what I would say as far as getting your DHS uh, license if you don't live in a state that licenses adjusters. If that's you, if you live in one of those states, then you have to get that state license as your home state license. You can't just be like, I live in California, I'm gonna get the Florida license. You have to get California. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.